Now, when it comes to rum cocktails, tiki cocktails in particular, it's always the same ones that get sort of rocked out time and time again. Everything from Mai Tais to Zombie, Navy Grogs, Jungle Birds, Painkillers, and so forth. However, over the forthcoming weeks, for a brand new series on this channel, I'm gonna be shining a light on some different cocktails from Beach Bum Berry's remixed cocktail book. We're gonna be looking at these cocktails, gonna show you how to make them, gonna give you my thoughts, whether these should be cocktails that you should be making, or whether we need to kind of adapt them slightly. So the tasting notes will be at the end. Now I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. I want you to drop your favorite tiki cocktails. And I don't mean Mai Tais, I don't mean zombies, I don't mean jungle birds, I mean different tiki cocktails that perhaps not many people shout about. Drop your favorites into the comments below and I'll have a look at making them in series two. Now for today's first tiki recipe, first one in this series, I'm gonna be showing you how to make the Krakatoa, which is on page 58 of Beach Bum Berries Remix. So this cocktail is gonna be flash blended and I'm gonna serve it up in a tiki glass. I'll, get, I'll give you, for you guys in the UK, there'll be a link in the description where you get this call from. Uh, this is called Bosai, I think B-O-S-I. It's about 14 ounce uh, sort of tiki glass. So I'll run you through the ingredients as we go along. I've got them written down there because there's no way I'm gonna remember all these. So the first thing we're gonna do is lime juice. We want 45 ml of lime juice freshly squeezed, so one and a half ounces of lime juice. Next we want is orange juice, 30 ml, one ounce of orange juice. There we go. The next one, grapefruit juice. I it didn't sort of say, so I've gone a yellow, golden, white grapefruit juice, whatever you want to call it, basically not pink grapefruit juice. And again, we've gone 30 ml, one ounce of that. I think pink grapefruit juice might be quite cool in this. Uh, now, here's the kind of first riff on here. We got pe uh, apricot nectar. Now, uh, we've got apricot morning. I haven't actually got it. I thought I had it, but I've got apricot. Um, this is kind of like a 50% fruit, 50% sugar kind of pure if you like, like real for you guys in the US. Uh, so I'm gonna use this. Now the re recipe did call for 30 ml of apricot nectar. Apricot nectar won't be kind of as sweet as what this is. So I'm actually gonna go for 20 ml of this. These are great, long life and shelf stable. Again, link in the description below where you can get kind of this from. But that'll give us the same sort of flavor. All right, so I'm just kind of adjusting there. So 20 ml of uh, apricot puree or 30 ml of apricot nectar. And uh, next up, we've got falernum. Now again, uh, I've never restocked JD Taylor's velvet falernum, so I've got monin, similar sweetness. So it kind of, just a little, slightly different in flavor, but kind of similar sort of sweetness to it. So uh, 15 ml, half an ounce of falernum in there. Smells, smell, I love this falernum. This is great stuff. Uh, now, five ml of coffee liqueur. I've gone for the Mr. Black, the Bundaberg uh, edition, the Auss Aussie rum uh, edition. So five ml of that. Let's get this jigger out. Let's get the old mezclar out. Five ml of coffee liqueur. Uh, now the rums, it's called for uh, 45 ml of golden uh, Puerto Rico rum. So I've gone um, Don Q. I think I've got a couple of cocktails to do with this and I think we should be sort of bottle kill on this. Uh, so 45 ml of gold Puerto Rican rum. So Don Q going in here, perfect. Should just get one more out of there. Uh, and then it's asked for a Demerara rum. So I've got 45 mil. Uh, I think El Dorado 12 will be a great shout as well, but I'm gonna use the El Dorado 8. So 45 mil of El Dorado 8 year old. Uh, and then there's, what, there's two more ingredients coming. One before, uh, so one now, I've got Angostura bitters. Uh, we've got one dash of Angostura bitters. There we go. Brand new bottle. And uh, then the final ingredient is then coming after the flash blend. So I'm gonna put a couple of, well, big old scoop of crushed ice in there, flash blend it. Right, and I know you guys uh, like to see what the cocktail looks like. So I'm, ju I'm just gonna pour it in there. That's the kind of color we've got. The final ingredient is 60 ml of coffee liqueur. Uh, and that's kind of just floated over the top. So I might just do that now, actually. There we go, 60 ml of coffee liqueur, but I am for the thumbnail, I'm gonna serve it up in the tiki glass. I think this is calls for a tiki glass. So 60 ml of, this is cold brew coffee. Just kind of, let's get some more crushed ice. Just kind of crown it on top, there we go, perfect. And then just 60 ml of, of uh, cold brew coffee just kind of floated on top. 
There we go. And then because of the grapefruit, I'm going to garnish that with a, a dried grapefruit uh, slice, some mint and uh, a couple of pineapple fronds. This is very interesting. Very grapefruit dominated uh, and kind of coffee dominated as well. I would potentially actually dial the grapefruit back. I think actually what it's missing is probably another five or 10 mil off for learning. But if you've made this cocktail, let me know what you think of it and how you've possibly changed it so it suits your palate more. Hit me up in the comments below.